Welcome to my YouTube channel AeroVision Info. In today's video, we're diving deep into the Boeing 737 MAX 10, the largest and most advanced variant of Boeing's 737 MAX family, which is expected to enter service in 2026. This aircraft is Boeing's strategic answer to the Airbus A321neo designed to dominate the single-aisle, high-capacity market for short to medium-haul routes. But what makes the 737 MAX 10 so important for Boeing, and how does it stack up against its competition? Let's find out. The Boeing 737 is one of the most successful aircraft families in aviation history, with over 10,000 units delivered since its introduction in the late 1960s. Over the decades, the aircraft has undergone multiple upgrades to keep up with the demands of airlines and the evolution of aviation technology. The 737 MAX series represents Boeing's latest iteration, featuring new engines, advanced avionics, and aerodynamic improvements. Among the MAX family are MAX 7, MAX 8, MAX 9, and now the MAX 10. Now the MAX 10 is designed to carry the most passengers while achieving superior fuel efficiency and lower operational costs. The MAX 10 is a direct response to the runaway success of the Airbus A321neo, particularly the A321XLR, which has been a favorite among airlines for its extended range and high seat capacity. Boeing realized that its existing MAX 9 could not compete effectively against the A321neo in terms of size and economics, prompting the development of the stretched MAX 10. So, what are the key features of the 737 MAX 10? First, let's talk about size. The MAX 10 has a fuselage that's 66 inches longer than the MAX 9, bringing its total length to 143 feet and 8 inches. This extension allows the MAX 10 to accommodate up to 230 passengers in an all-economy configuration, or approximately 188 to 204 in a typical two-class layout. This is a significant leap in capacity, targeting airlines that want to maximize passenger numbers on high-demand routes without stepping up to a wide-body aircraft. One of the engineering challenges with the MAX 10 was ensuring it retained the operational commonality of the 737 family while addressing the need for a longer landing gear. Unlike previous 737s, the MAX 10 features a levered, telescopic main landing gear design. This innovative solution allows for the increased fuselage length while keeping ground clearance within limits for gate compatibility at airports. The main gear extends downward during takeoff rotation, providing the necessary tail clearance, and retracts to fit into the existing wheel well a clever piece of engineering that maintains 737 commonality for pilots and maintenance crews. In terms of performance, Boeing claims the MAX 10 will offer the lowest seat mile cost of any single aisle jet ever produced by Boeing. Thanks to the CFM International Leap 1B engines and aerodynamic refinements like the advanced technology winglets, the MAX 10 is expected to be 14% more fuel efficient than the older 737 next generation models. The maximum range of the MAX 10 is approximately 3,300 nautical miles, which makes it suitable for transcontinental flights within the US, as well as longer routes in Europe, Asia, and other dense travel markets. One of the selling points Boeing is emphasizing with the MAX 10 is its commonality with other 737 MAX variants. Pilots trained on the MAX 8 or MAX 9 can transition to the MAX 10 with minimal additional training, a significant cost-saving benefit for airlines. From the cockpit layout to the avionics systems, the MAX 10 shares a high degree of similarity with its siblings, making fleet integration smoother and more economical. Inside the cabin, Boeing's sky interior design will be standard on the MAX 10. This includes sculpted sidewalls, larger pivoting overhead bins, LED mood lighting, and quieter engines that contribute to an improved passenger experience. While the MAX the 10th of may not offer the longer range of the A321XLR, 
it is optimized for high density routes where airlines want to move as many passengers as possible within regional networks. Now, let's address the elephant in the room of the 737 MAX crisis. After the tragic crashes of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, the entire MAX series faced a worldwide grounding that lasted over 20 months. Boeing faced intense scrutiny over the MAX's maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, which was implicated in both accidents. Since then, Boeing has implemented extensive software and hardware modifications to the MACAS and pilot training protocols. The MAX 8 and MAX 9 have returned to service after rigorous recertification processes. The MAX 10, however, will enter service under a spotlight of unprecedented regulatory oversight. Boeing is fully aware that both aviation authorities and the flying public expect the MAX 10 to be the safest most reliable version of the aircraft to date. This includes compliance with the latest certification requirements by the FAR, ESA, and other global aviation regulators. The MAX 10 will not only incorporate the fixes applied to early MAX models but also benefit from additional safety features and cockpit alerts that were not part of the original MAX design. As of 2025, Boeing has secured over 800 orders for the 737 MAX 10 from airlines around the world, including United Airlines, Ryanair, and Fly Dubai. United Airlines, in particular, has placed significant confidence in the MAX 10, with plans to use it as a workhorse for high demand routes across North America. For airlines, the MAX 10 provides a compelling proposition higher seating capacity, lower trip costs and the operational flexibility of a narrow-body aircraft. However, competition from Airbus remains fierce. The A321neo family, especially the A321XLR, offers greater range capabilities, which allows airlines to open up thinner long-haul routes. Boeing's response with the MAX 10 is more focused on high density, short to medium-haul markets where range is less critical, and per seat economics dominate. The big question is, will the MAX 10 be enough for Boeing to reclaim market share in this category? That depends on how airlines prioritize factors like range versus capacity, and how the market dynamics shift in the coming years. The single-aisle segment is the largest and most competitive in commercial aviation, and Boeing knows that the MAX 10's success is crucial to its future. With its scheduled entry into service in 2026, the Boeing 737 MAX 10 will be entering a market that is hungry for fuel-efficient, high-capacity single-aisle aircraft. Its success will depend on its ability to deliver on Boeing's promises of efficiency, reliability, and safety, while also overcoming the lingering skepticism caused by the MAX grounding crisis. As we move closer to its entry into service, the aviation industry will be watching closely to see how the MAX 10 performs not only in flight tests but in actual airline operations. For Boeing, the MAX 10 isn't just an airplane it's a crucial piece of the company's strategy to stay competitive in a market where every seat, every route, and every gallon of fuel matters. That's all for today's deep dive into the Boeing 737 MAX 10. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to AeroVision Info for more in-depth aviation content. See you in the next video.